I'm a working class person. Yeah, not many of us left. <laughs> I have a lot of middle class friends, right? And my uh, middle class friends know that I'm working class because they call me things like salt of the earth. <laughs> we know what that means, don't we? It means, oh, you're quite articulate and intelligent for a deprived person. <laughs> but please don't marry into my family. <laughs> I notice differences about us, you know? There's differences between us, me and my middle class friends. Uh, shopping, there's one instance. Middle class people, you get your shopping delivered. Give me a cheer if you do that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You get the shopping delivered. My middle class mates are always like, oh, yeah, it's literally so easy. Just like literally press a button and like the shopping just appears at your door and it's totally amazing. And what I do is I give the driver like £10 and what he does is he puts it in my cupboard because I can't because of my, I'm like, your bad back. No, my sense of entitlement. <laughs> Working class people, we go to the shops, we bring the shopping back. My earliest memories are going to the supermarket in all weathers, carrying the entire week's shopping back with my mother. A trip to Asda should not evoke the words of World War I poet Wilfred Owen. <laughs> you know the poem I mean, that one? Bent double, like old beggars. <laughs> old sacks, not need. Coughing like hags. <laughs> your mum's screaming at you. What are you coughing for there? You've not got your inhaler? Because I'm telling you now, if that Viennetta melts, I'll batter you. <laughs> Carrying all that shopping. Do you know what? There's donkeys in sanctuaries that have had easier lives than me. <laughs> we spend money as well. Working class people, we love spending money. We love spending money. As soon as we get it, get rid of it. Don't talk about it, spend it. And this is ancestral, I'm telling you, right? I know that my ancestors were probably like, right, we've been paid, tomorrow we might die of cholera under a spinning jenny. <laughs> Let's go to the pub. <laughs> my middle class mates do not spend money, right? You do not spend money. And I've noticed it, especially if you live in a city that people want to visit, right, and you have a spare room, don't tell anyone that's middle class. In fact, brick it up. Because what happens is they want a weekend away and they find out about the spare room and the messages come pinging in. How are you? <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> you notice the last messages between you were 18 months ago when you were lying about having to self-isolate. 